Hi there, today I'm unboxing a network switch. So this particular one is by Netgear. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So this particular network switch is an eight port gigabit ethernet unmanaged switch. The reason I went for this one, I didn't want a managed switch. I wanted something unmanaged where you can literally just plug your cables in and away you go, no messing around. So with this particular one, you just plug in a cable going from your router into the device and then you can have other devices connected onto there and in your local network in your property your office or your house or whatever you can get gigabit speeds on there as long as your devices support that speed now the reason I wanted this in my studio I've got my gaming PC I want to also edit videos on there and transfer them to my NAS server so ideal for me and I wanted gigabit speeds on my other devices as well Okay, so let's take a quick look around the packaging. It comes nicely packaged, picture of the actual switch here, some details here, plug and play, ideal for small office, home office, rugged metal case, LED on each port, power on off button, wall mountable, and if we come in close here, it says it's got a three year hardware warranty. Looking down here, gigabit ethernet switch. If we come around here, some technical specification details there. And then coming around here, a picture showing how you can connect this up. So you've got your switch here and your router connects into the switch and then everything else, like I've said, can just connect directly onto there. Coming around this way, some more details on there. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging. So let me quickly go through them one by one. So initially you've got an installation guide, details how to install this and information on registering this product coming around the back just some support details next you've got netgear declaration of conformity multi-language and then finally in terms of documentation we've got netgear device safety and software update information open that up and that's all in english and english on that side as well next we've got the power adapter so this is 1.7 meters in length build quality seems reasonable on there dc connector on there coming in close you can see the output is 12 volts 0.5 amps on there finally we've got the switch itself so all metal in construction you've got branding on there netgear you've got your eight ports you've got a power indicator there and a link lights on there now if i come in closer you can see if it's a gigabit connection from your device to the switch, you'll get a green light. If you've got 100 meg to 10 megabits, you'll get yellow on there. Okay, coming around the side here, got a vent here, DC connection point there, got an off on switch, you got a locking point there if you want to lock it to something, and another vent here. Coming around the back, you got some rubber pads underneath, which is nice and you've got two holes where you could mount this on a cupboard or something so you put your screws into the, the wall and then you literally just hook it straight on and just to show some details here on the back got the serial number i've covered that up for now and that's it so build quality feels really good nice strong metal construction on there and very compact in size so in terms of size we're saying 15.8 centimeters 10 centimeters by 2.6 centimeters, so very nice and compact. Next, let me show how to use this network switch. So, power cables here and the other ends plugged in to a power source. The cable plugs straight into the DC connection point there. Coming around the front, you can see the green lights come on, meaning it's powered now. And if I come around here and I flip this across, lights go off, meaning it's turned off. So you can also turn it on and off using this switch. Let's turn it back on again. And to use it, very simple. The cable I have here, the red one, the other end's plugged into my internet router. If I plug that in now, you can see link lights come on, meaning there's connectivity there. And to make use of this now, all I have to do is plug in my wired devices into one of the ports here. It doesn't matter which one. So if I come in here, all we need to do now is plug the cables in. So one there, we'll put another one there. 
and you can see the lights have come on. So the whole idea about getting one of these network switches is to wire in multiple devices. So in my studio, I'll be plugging in my PS3, PS4, my Xbox, my smart TV, and also my gaming PC into this. And I'll have a number of ports free in case I need to plug in any other devices. So very useful in my situation. Obviously, I already mentioned the fact I want to be able to transfer files quickly between devices and that's the whole point of getting this device. So there you go, hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this particular device. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.